past two cents. I ended up having a prophetic dream, and this is mainly addressed to a man, I believe, and it involves a little boy, and it involves music. All right, and I'm going to tell it the way it came to me in a dream. You are a man somewhere in your late 30s, mid 40s, right in there. You might be as old as 50, but somewhere between, I would say, 38 and 52 or 53, mainly in your 40s. You play the piano. You've always played the piano, kind of like jazz piano, a variety of music, but you are really good at what you do. The scary part to you is that you only know one side of playing that instrument. You only know one world that you've lived in all your life. And now you have stepped out of darkness into God's marvelous light. And you are a little nervous because you're, you're embarking on a whole new journey that's totally different from the world you're stepping out of. So you're not quite sure where you are, where you're headed, or what you're about right now. You're trying to get your bearings in God. But there's something really strange that's happened to you. Now when you touch that keyboard, something happens. And the music is different than what you're used to doing. You're used to entertaining. You're used to tickling those keys. But when you touch the keyboard in the presence of God, you're playing something totally different than you've ever played before. You're playing from the pit of your soul. Your, your spirit is pouring out all over those keys. And the music is beautiful. It's very emotional. But you've never done this before. And you don't know what to make of it. It's something that comes on you. It's, it's a gifting from the Holy Ghost. And it's hard for you to understand it. Because some people can say, oh, um, I speak in tongues. Or another person can say, oh, I prophesy. But yours seem to come through the tips of your fingers. And you feel the closest to God. And you just get lost in a zone, you and God alone. And it's worship. It's a time of worship. And when you play like that, something happens to the atmosphere. You feel it really really strong now what the lord is showing me from this dream is there's a little boy that likes to hang with you there's something about you that draws this little boy out of his darkness and there are two older men that know the boy or know of the boy or get real chummy with him i don't know what role they play in his life but he's very, very at peace with you, and he's nervous around them. Let the boy hang with you. You are like his safety net, his lifesaver, so to speak, like a lifesaver sitting at a pool or at a beach, ready to rescue the next victim of drowning, from drowning. There's something about you this little boy needs, and God sees it. And there's something about you playing that piano that you need. Something happens to you. You need it. Keep playing. Every chance you get, let that come over you and play to God, even when you're all by yourself. There's something that happens in the spirit realm when you play that piano. And God wants to use you in that area not to entertain, not to tickle the keys, but to touch spirits, souls when you play under that kind of an anointing. Don't be afraid of it. Don't shy away from it because it's different, because it's weird, because folks wonder what's come over you. Your music is different now. What's, what's going on? No, don't worry about that. Um... And let the boy hang with you. When he's by himself, offer to take him home. Take him out to eat. Spend time with him. He needs a man in his life. A real man. 
a man of God who's really about something. You'll be his form of protection, believe me. There are wolves out there waiting to eat him alive. Now, what I want to say to you is you're not churched. This is what I'm getting. You're not churched. You're not used to being around churchy people. You're not used to being around that whole church atmosphere. Don't worry about that. God will find placement for you. And you will be amongst people that understand you because they're similar in a lot of ways. Don't try to fit in. You do your thing the way God created you to do it. And God will open the door for you. But whatever you do, every chance you get on your free time, on your downtime, play to the Lord. Now, the other thing the Lord showed me is in the dream, you did not have a woman. You were not into men. You were just into that piano and God, you and God. There's a whole new world that you've entered into, a whole new dimension, so to speak. Stay focused like that. Whatever else God has for you, he'll make it happen. But right now, you stay focused. Don't get sidetracked by the enemy's little tricks and snares and his little, his little detours. No, 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 no. If it starts to tickle your fancy and stroke your pride and, you know, no, 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 no. Stay as far away from it as the East is from the West. You stay on those keys and you play them for the Lord. And you will start to see things happening. I don't know what else to tell you, but stay close to God in through here. Stay in his word. Play that piano for the kingdom. Play it in worship between you and God. You may not be a man of many words, but you're a man of many notes, and your notes will ring volumes to God because the two of you will have a communication line that nobody else can, can even fathom. God bless you. I hope that touches somebody. I hope that it reaches somebody before they before the devil tries to snatch you off your beaten path. You haven't been walking with the Lord long. That's why it's so new. It's so foreign. It's okay. Let it be foreign. God will teach you every step of the way. God bless you. Mm -hmm.